Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas. As we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update, kickstarting with today's agenda, manager Carlo Ancelotti, in his customary pre-match press conference, discussed Thibaut Couto's availability, Jude Bellingham's form, and the Bayern Munich clash slated to take place on Wednesday ahead of Real Madrid vs Cavi's clash. So on this episode, we will be talking you through the Italian tactician's full press conference. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Real Madrid are slated to take on Cavi's on Saturday afternoon knowing they have the chance to steal the La Liga title. However, with Real Madrid also slated to take on Bayern Munich in midweek, Carlo Ancelotti has confirmed he will ring in a few changes on the afternoon. Ancelotti also confirmed the return of Thibaut Courtois, who is poised to take part in the action against Cavies. Courtois is fine. He will play after a long time. It is good news that he is back, just like Militao. He can contribute. He is fine. He is very excited. We are delighted that he is back. And Salafi confirmed in the pre-match press conference. The Real Madrid coach added that Andre Lunin will take on Bayern Munich in midweek, knowing he cannot risk Courtois' fitness. The final we have in mind is Wednesday against Bayern, where Lunin will play, then we will see Ancelotti have it. Ancelotti went on to address a few more burning questions in regard to Real Madrid team selection versus Cavies and Bayern. I am not talking about individualities. The team, in my opinion, was too passive against Bayern Munich. We have to be more active, Militao will play in the afternoon to pick up the pace, Ancelotti said. Adagula is also going to be a starter against Cavies. Talking about variations in the Real Madrid front line, the coach added, We put Rodrigo on the left and Vinicius on the right. Rodrigo scored against Manchester City and Vinicius against Bayern, where both players scored a brace. It went very well. We have to adjust things in general. In the defensive aspect against Bayern, we have to improve on that. The manager confirmed that the team was defensively passive against the Bavarians. Placing Rodrigo on the left wing is offensive, not defensive. It was only to try to create more damage to the rival defense. It is not a definitive decision. It can change. He is effective in all the positions in which I have put him. So he doesn't change much. The manager further added. Ancelotti also offered an update on the fitness of Jude Bellingham, deeming him fully fit heading into the Cavies encounter. Jude Bellingham simply had an intestinal varius that did not give him the chance to recover 100% against Bayern Munich. Now he is very well and he will do very well as he always has, the manager said. Speaking of the midfielders, the Italian tactician was asked about the future of Tony Cruz and Salati though remained coy as ever, adding, I will let him make the best decision for him, the manager said. Real Madrid can win the league title this weekend if they can secure a win over Cavies and Barcelona fail to win against Girona just two hours later. Ancelotti though remains pragmatic as ever. The objective is very clear. At three points to get closer to winning this competition. He said when asked about the title race. 
we only think about fulfilling our objective against a team that is fighting to avoid relegation that arrives at the Bernabeu with the desire and enthusiasm, the manager said. When asked whether Real Madrid will go to Civiles if they win the league title, Ancelotti responded, No, we haven't thought anything because we haven't won anything yet. We will think about the celebrations the day we will mathematically be sure that we have won the competition. Still, we are not. The goal is to get three points against Cavies. Ancelotti was also asked about Real Madrid domestic season with Los Blancos losing only twice in the league. It has never happened to me to have only two defeats. We want to continue with this streak. The squad has done very well with a lot of commitment. Everyone has contributed a lot from those who have played the most to those who have played the least, Ancelotti said. The Real Madrid coach went on to describe the team's mentality this season. He was also asked to compare the current Real Madrid squad to that of 2022, which won the La Liga and the UEFA Champions League against Liverpool in Paris. It is difficult to compare one squad with another. I see in this squad an extraordinary collective commitment, he said. We are aware that it is different. When we played against Espanyol, it was in our hands. Now it is not. We are missing four points. This is what we have in mind. It is the reason why we do not want to talk about celebrations, the Italian added. Finally, Ancelotti dived deep into the details of Coutoua's injury and how it compares to an injury of a defender. The injury is similar, but the rhythms are different. Defenders have different circumstances than a goalkeeper's. One can be adapted before and another after. On physical levels, they are fine. They have been medically discharged, then we have to evaluate the situation, Ancelotti concluded as quoted by Spanish publication Diario AS. So Real Madrid will head to Saturday's afternoon clash with huge rotations, keeping an eye on the Bayern Munich clash which is set to take place on Wednesday night at the Santiago Bernabeu. The Bavarians who were highly dominant in terms of position in the first leg will want to regain their position playing the second leg at the Bernabeu with a little bit of luck in front of goal. Carlo Ancelotti and his men will be looking to polish their mistakes in which they made in the first leg against Bayern defensively which caused them two goals particularly the Leroy Sané goal and also the clumsy penalty given away by Lucas Vasquez. It is going to be an enticing encounter between the two European heavyweights, so it is left to be seen which of the two sides progress to the final of the competition, which is later to take place on the 1st of June in England, particularly at Wembley Stadium. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hello Madrid to us all.